welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure <sighs> mm, just take a moment take a moment to just be still okay take a moment to just be free take a moment to just be you right now the universe is guiding you to just go with the flow to just go with the flow and see what happens like to just go with the flow and be free. Now, I'm not saying go with the flow and just get pushed around any and everywhere that it takes you. But go with the natural flow. Go with the natural guidance that you receive. Like in this, in these moments right now, you may be getting different downloads. You may be getting different messages. Your intuition may be telling you things. That gut feeling that you got, listen to that. It's not going to steer you wrong right now. Listen to that gut feeling. Listen, listen to your intuition when it's telling you to do something, when it's telling you to not do something, when it's telling you, like, when it's guiding you on your next steps. If you just take a moment to be still, you'll be able to you'll be able to hear God. Like you'll be able to hear your higher self. You'll be able to hear your highest self and your highest self is going to lead you. Like it's going to lead you to where you need to go. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. It just is. It just is like, that's the thing about life. It's no good. It's no bad. It's just what it is. So your higher self is going to lead you to where you need to go, where you should go, where you're destined to go. Take a moment to listen. Just go with the flow. Now it's not the time to be in resistance. Like, just go with the flow. Don't force anything, but also don't resist anything. Because if something, like, you can resist a whole day long, but I wholeheartedly believe, like, when it comes to the power of choice, we really don't have it. Like, you can... You can set things back. You can go a different way in the maze. But when something is meant to happen, it's going to happen. So you can set it back. You can make things harder. You can make things easier. But when it comes to the power of choice, if something is meant to happen for you, it's going to happen regardless. No matter how you get there, no matter how long it takes for you to get there. So it may be something that you want to do. It may seem scary. It may seem hard, but just know that there's already a plan out there. It's already a plan out there for you. It's already meant to happen. So sometimes you may find yourself doing things or sometimes um, like you may just find things happening and you don't even know like how it happened or you don't even know why you did what you did or you don't even know why you said what you said. Because you just allowed yourself to go with the flow. You allowed your soul to take over. Allow your soul to do what it needs to do. Because your mind is going to fight you every time. Your mind is the one that's going to make up the problems. Your mind is the one who's scared. Like, your mind. Your mind is the one who got that ego. It's not your soul. So when your soul speaks to you, when your higher self speaks to you, and it wants to do something, just know that those things are the things that's gonna fulfill you. They may seem scary, but it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be hard either way. So it's either gonna be hard with the struggle or it's gonna be hard with success. You choose. Like it's 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 gonna be hard either way. And it's not like any type of um destination or anything like oh once you get to a certain point you're not going to struggle anymore or anything like that but it's the mindset it's the growth it's the things that you go through that you grow through that allows life to become easier and when you go with the flow you're in a surrender state you're in a surrender surrender state you're surrendering to the most high and what the most high want to experience through you in this lifetime because we all are God within. We all are one. So when you when you surrender, it's just like you're doing what it is that you were meant to do. You're doing what it is that is destined for you to do here. 
you can go and do your own thing, but it's still certain things. It's still a, a life that you agreed to. It's certain moments, it's experiences that you agreed to before you got here. So you can make it harder, but it's only going to be tougher. You ever notice that you keep trying to force things? You keep trying to go in a certain direction, but stuff just isn't going your way. Like you'll know, like you'll know when something is not for you because you're ne you're never <laughs> tongue twisted. You will never be at peace with it. It's like you may for a moment, for a split second, have a good moment with it or like it may seem happy for a little bit, but it's all a facade. It's something that your mind is making up. When something is not for you, you'll never be at peace with it. It's always going to be something that you don't like. It's always going to be something that's wrong. It's always going to be something that don't make you feel good on the soul level. So it's time to, and I'm not telling you what to do, but <laughs> I personally think it's best to just surrender and go with the flow of life. Go with the flow of life. And like I said earlier, it does not mean to just get pulled each and every way. It does not mean that just because somebody invites you somewhere that you have to go. What going with the flow means is if somebody invites you somewhere and you feel deep down in your spirit that something's not right with it, that you don't feel good about it, that the energy is not right, that the invitation was not cool, like whatever. If you don't feel good about it, if you don't feel like going energetically, if you don't feel social that day, like it's okay to say no, it's okay to not go. That's what going with the flow looks like. See how you feel in each moment, live in the present moment and go from there. Like, you don't have to plan each and every single thing out for the next uh, 30 days, for the next 5, 10 years. You don't have to because some things change. Some things change and some things get set back. And some things you don't even see coming. So when you're so firm on what it is that you want or what it is that you want to experience and how you want life to look and things like that, sometimes you can just set things back. Like you may have had something good or better waiting for you, but you're not going with the flow. So you like, and a lot of it, I think a lot of it is fear based. I think a lot of it is ego based. Like when we want to just do things our way, um, a lot of times we're afraid. We're afraid of something different. We're afraid of something new. We're afraid of having to go through a different cycle. Like we're afraid of, having to have a new routine. We're afraid of just doing something new and different because a lot of us are stuck inside of our comfort zone. And when you go with the flow, you're surrendering. It can be scary. You don't you you don't see what's coming. You don't see what's coming for so for someone who needs to know what's coming needs uh to be in control. That can be very scary. It can be very scary to go with the flow. But I think that going with the flow is very necessary. It's very necessary for our well-being. It's very necessary to feed our soul. To feed our soul what it is it desires. Like, this body is just temporary. But your soul got needs too. Like, when you're only feeding your mind in this physical avatar here, you're neglecting your soul. <laughs> when your soul speaks to you, when you hear that little voice inside your head, that's saying do something that sounds scary to you. That's saying that this is what it's going to be. That's saying now is the time. And you're ignoring it. Because your mind is saying you tripping. You know how we do. It's always been this way. Give me what I want. And these are the things your mind is saying. It, now it's a battle between your soul and your mind. Which your soul is who you really are. Your mind is just a bunch of thoughts from all of the things that you consume on a day-to-day -day basis. All of the things that you have consumed in this lifetime. That's what your mind is. So when you go with the flow and you surrender, you feel free. <laughs> you feel free. Um, like I said, you're not forcing anything. 
and you're not surrendering. So when your higher self tells you and leads you in a certain direction, you go for it. No matter what the results is, no matter what the consequences is, like you don't even care. That's what going with the flow looks like. You don't even care because you know that it's what you needed in that moment. And you don't care who's judging you in that moment. You're not thinking about any of that when you're going with the flow. You're becoming more one with yourself. You're in a surrender state. You're allowing God to use you in the best way possible. Like, And people get it twisted. I see people in my comment section. I see people in other comment section. Like, oh, God, this, God, that, like, Somebody said, <laughs> somebody, and I didn't even respond because everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but somebody made a comment. They said, oh, how humanly of a God. While I don't think God is anything compared to a human, God do have human-like experiences because God is within us, because God is love, and because God is not just all things good like i see people saying like why would god allow this to happen because god want to experience the good the bad the ugly the evil the beautiful god want to experience all things god want to experience all things so therefore god everything is not this perfect image when it comes to god and you don't have to be that perfect image either so a lot of times when you're not going with the flow you find yourself trying to be a certain way, trying to have a certain image, trying to keep up with a certain image. And it's, I just want to let you know, like, it's okay that you, if you don't, it's okay if you don't keep up with a certain image. It's okay if you don't keep up with a certain lifestyle. It's okay if you switch things up. It's okay if you change. It's okay if you grow. <laughs> it's okay. Like, they got the, no new friends like it's okay if you get new friends it's okay everything is okay in the grand scheme of things none of this stuff really matters none of this like when you depart this earth none of it matters you're just here to experience it experience it in these moments so that's why you should make the best out of these moments and that's why you should do what makes you feel good and that's why you shouldn't care what people have to say. You shouldn't care when people want to judge you. You shouldn't care if, I mean, like, don't, don't miss a good thing trying to hold on to, like, an image or trying to hold on to something old. Like, you got to let old things go to allow new things to come in. Like, you got to shut certain doors to be able to open up new doors and when you're going with the flow you got the doors open <laughs> you got the doors wide open like i have a manifestation journal i have written in it sometimes i've took the pages out ripped them up got rid of them things changed i didn't want that anymore but for the most part i don't use it i just keep it with me and majority of the book it's a blank book. It's blank. Because I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't have all the answers. I don't even know what it is that I really want. Like, I have certain desires. I know some things that I want. But I want to leave it up to the universe to, to show me and to give me different experiences that I never even knew I needed. Or that I never even knew I wanted. Or maybe that my soul knows that I want. But if my mind is so firm on how I want things that I may never see or that may be prolonged because like, because I'm so stuck and I'm so stubborn, like I don't want to be stubborn. You shouldn't want to be stubborn. Surrender, go with the flow. Life is going to take you beautiful places. Like, and I've been on this like for years, I'll be honest, like. I've just been going with the flow and it feels good. And I've been around people close to me that it's been scary for them to just go with the flow. Like they've needed to know, they've needed to have control. 
but I'm starting to see those closest to me going with the flow and embracing it now. And it's nothing that I did. Maybe I had an effect. Maybe the energy trickled. But I think that they've got a, a, a taste of it. And, and it felt good. <laughs> and it felt good not knowing. And more importantly than it feeling good, everything is going to be okay. <laughs> you recognize that everything is going to be okay. A lot of things that we worry about. A lot of things that we stress about in the end, it's not even what we thought. We're stressing about the possibilities. What can go wrong? Like, that'd be the main thing. Like, what can go wrong? What's not going to work out for us? How things are going to be so bad? And when we add our faith with that, or when we have faith instead of that, when we surrender and go go with the flow, things work itself out. Things are good. You recognize that it was nothing that you had to worry about in the first place. It was nothing that you even had to worry about. So this video is just to remind you to go with the flow. Like you may, you may get an urge to do something. Just do it. Just do it. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? I know it seems scary to go with the flow sometimes, but it's something very beautiful <laughs> waiting out there for you when you go with the flow. It's something very beautiful, something that you didn't even know that your soul desired. So that's all I have for this video. If you're new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.